If it were still a t-shirt, it would be an ugly one by now. Worn out, stained, probably with holes in the armpits. But since it's a flag in the window of my son's dorm room, sleeves and collar cut off and neatly hemmed in his fastidious way, hanging right above his statue of the Buddha, you'd never know it for what it is. As a t-shirt, it was my favorite, my lucky shirt, as I called it. It was bright orange, emblazoned in gray with the name of my university, different from the one Zach now attends. That was part of the, that was the part that showed from his window, causing a bit of a row when he first hung it up. Something about how it compromised school pride for the other students. So he was called into a formal meeting with his advisor and the RA in order to put the issue to rest. He explained that it was from his mom's alma mater that to take it down would, only, would not only violate his freedom of speech, but it would also be a blow to his fledgling identity as a college freshman. Yes, he really used that term, so proud. I was there at the meeting, a silent observer. He made his point. The first time I wore the shirt was at a demonstration of my own freedom of speech, a university rally to protest the tuition hikes we faced every academic year. Everyone who participated got a free t-shirt from the student government as we boarded the overnight bus down to the Capitol. Next day, we took to the streets an orange wave of righteous anger and the university backed down. That's when I decided it was lucky. Anyway, that's what I was wearing too when I met Nicholas, who would later become my husband and Zach's dad, though not necessarily in that order. And so it stayed my lucky shirt, a term that I felt more wry about as the years passed and our marriage frayed, developed its own stains and holy armpits. It's also what I had on the morning of the accident, and I can still call it lucky without irony because Zach's alive, and here we are. When Zach hung the flag his first day in the dorms, he did it before even making his bed or setting up his computer. I watched as he attached suction cups to the window and carefully hooked the flag in place. I fought down my emotion at that point, knowing that he'd grown up and that he'd largely done it without me. I'm not sure how that t-shirt turned flag has become such a symbol for us. How when Zach looks at it, I know he's thinking of me. Watching him, silent and unseen, I wish I could conjure up some Tibetan wind to rustle the flag and let him know I'm thinking of him too. <laughs>